Hey, Cutler Point is a natural landmark in Utah close to Zion National Park. I recently made a visit here and want to detail how we got there, show some of the footage that I captured so that others can enjoy it as well. The draw at Cutler Point is the Great Chamber which is a cavern of sandstone that encapsulates a hill of sand. The stone's texture is very unique. It's a great place to take pictures and offers a beautiful view of the surrounding desert. When we checked it out, it was pristine and didn't have any evidence of people visiting except for the footprints. Maybe it because it takes a little bit of effort to get there. This is how we did it. The first thing is the vehicle that you are traveling in. Parts of this journey are off-road and in sandy terrain. It is highly recommended that you use a four-wheel drive capable vehicle with high clearance. We rented a Jeep Wrangler and drove in the for it high mode and never encountered any issues. I advise you to save yourself the headache and rent a proper vehicle so you can have a peace of mind. Now for the directions. If you're coming from the Zion area like we did, it will take anywhere from one to two hours to get there. There are a few ways to get there, but this is the way we did it. We bought the All Trails app and got the exact latitude and longitude numbers to navigate with Google Maps. This really only brings you to the off-road trail entrance, but you don't need to purchase the app as I will detail how you can get there without the lat long numbers. If you're coming from the Zion area, whether it be Springdale or Leverkin, Set your destination in Google Maps to the Inchworm Arch in Kanab, Utah. Your map should look like this. Essentially, the directions will take you north on Highway 89. And then south on Johnson Canyon Road. The entrance of the off-road trails from these directions will be on the right side on Johnson Canyon Road. The trick is recognizing where the entrance to the trails is because there are no signs for it. Follow the Google Map directions to Inchworm Arch until they tell you to get off the Johnson Canyon Road. It'll tell you to turn onto Nelfi Pasture Road, but don't follow those directions. Instead, continue south on Johnson Canyon Road for a few more miles. The entrance should be on the right and it'll look something like this. If you found this, then you're on the right path. Now, you can ditch the Google Maps. From here on, you're using the Bureau of Land Management map that is also on the signpost at the entrance. I'd advise you to download the PDF version of this map from their website before you begin your trip. The link is in the description below. The directions from here are simple. Go west on Trail 100 and then go north on Trail 103. When you get onto Trail 103, it's a straight shot all the way to Cutler Point. There are trail markers so you should be able to tell when you need to turn. Also, there are two gates in which you need to open to get past. Have someone from your party hop out to open and close the gates. Shortly after the second gate, you'll arrive at the roundabout parking location. If you do end up visiting Cutler Point and the Great Chamber, please keep the condition of this natural landmark just the way you found it so that visitors in the future can enjoy it as much as you did. Thank you.